If you like amazing views, I'm about to show you why you should come to the Philippines. If it looks like I just woke up, it's because I did. It is brown out day here in the wave of Vizcaya. So from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. we will not have electricity. Um, good news is I have a scooter and a camera. So I'm gonna take you guys with me all day today and show you how to stay busy during a brown out uh, in the Philippines. And if you live in a provincial location, I'm sure you're familiar with this and have your own methods, but this is my first one, so here we go. So there's only one potential problem I see with this day so far. That is the sky. You can't see it because the highlights are blowing out. But it's blue, it's dark blue. It's rain cloud blue. And if it rains, that's kinda gonna put a little damper in the plans I had, so may have to come up with something new but nevertheless it's going to be interesting so what are open on days like today well i don't really know so we're going to find out i know the sorry sorry stores will still be open because they don't really use electronics uh at least not around here there's no i've never seen the cash register in the sorry sorry store in this part of uh the philippines and when i say this part of the philippines i mean here in bam bang um, I'm sure they exist, I just haven't seen one. So, nevertheless, they could count the money by hand and it would be fine. Um, we know McDonald's is open and most of the larger stores save more, that kind of thing, because they have generators. Uh, they're going to be open today. Um, trike driving is still on uh, as normal. Gas stations are open. And it's really just an inconvenience for the uh, residential people, you know, people that either work from home or stay at home or uh, need to be home. Um, but it's also a good opportunity to get out and explore, see different things, learn new stuff. And hopefully that's what we're gonna do today. Let's see. Because this is the first brownout day I've ever experienced. A lot of people have those. That's a generator. And that is how they keep their businesses going. Really, out here on the street, it's, uh, I mean, it looks like any other day. Nothing special. There's just no lights on in the stores um, unless they have a generator which the way these stores are built you really don't need a lot of light anyway unless you have a back room somewhere so very interesting okay guys so coming across the bridge uh going out of bam bang i noticed something all of this <laughs> so this is what you do during a brownout uh i believe all of this is set up for a cockpit and if you look around behind me here, I'm gonna turn around in just a second. I'm not gonna to get too close to the activities because I'm not sure these guys are one American observing everything, but you can see all the uh, little huts and stuff on the other side of the bridge. If you can see this far, I'll try to raise it up. Way over there are Nipah huts uh, that I assume were set up last night and people stayed in them because they're not normally there. Um, I think it's fantastic. Uh, a good way to cool off. I'm sure they bathe in the water here. Um, this is very interesting. Definitely a neat experience. We're currently underneath the bridge <clears throat> right now. And then, sorry, sorry store. A uh, little setup right here which I'm sure is great for everyone. And then behind me uh, is where the cockfight is actually taking place. And I was actually just told 
uh, to keep on the outside of the perimeter here. Um, definitely not gonna try to get myself into any trouble out here. But I wanted to show you guys as much as possible. Um, there are people standing on the bridge behind me. I'm not sure if you can see them. I was also just informed that this is where people go in the summer to hang out, swim, all that stuff. And another little, another little store set up here. Um, and behind me, you can see more of the setup here for today's festivities. So I guess these guys really know how to deal with a brownout. And next time, I hope I'm invited. Hi, how are you? Let's get this guy on camera. Hi. <laughs> um, next time, my only hope is that I'm invited to uh, come to one of these cockfights and watch it and see what happens. So we're going to get back on the scooter and continue on. Welcome to Kayapa. This is a little town located on the road that takes you from Solano to Baguio. Um, it's a neat little place. I've been through here several times on the way to Baguio. And just gonna do a little general exploring. There's a, uh, this is as you come into the proper area, a restaurant and a CR behind me auto parts shop um, like everywhere else pay five pesos to use the restroom or whatever and gotta kind of climb the hill here and just kind of see what's going on it's a little market over here across the street from me looks like they have some very good produce more little shops across the street here and apparently this gas station hasn't been here that long um, but it's here now they're doing a lot of construction in this town and looks like it's trying to grow a little bit or something. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey ladies, try to be friendly because they probably have never seen an American walking through here with a camera pointed at his face. I would imagine. Local bank. Looks like we've got some uh, recreational areas out here and more sorry sorry stuff on this side. Very nice looking, I bet that's an apartment or of some kind behind me. That would be a nice little place to live because the view behind it is pretty amazing. Uh, pretty close to Baggy out here, so it's, uh, the views are gonna be pretty incredible. And check this out. How you doing, sir? And like every town in the Philippines, they have a scooter shop. Municipality center, and that would be like town hall maybe behind me, I would think, where all the official activity is. Behind me is the town's public market. That is a very small public market compared to what uh, public markets I've seen in Solano, Bambang, and Bayambang. So, uh, you've literally just covered the entire uh, Kapaya town proper area with me. It's that small. I'm really starting to like these little towns uh, to come and visit, look, and check out because every one of them has something unique about it. A little bit different. This one is, the temperature here is probably, uh, I would say, 8 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than it was in Bam Bang when I left. Um, because obviously we're up higher in elevation. And it's cloudy and a little foggy, like you would expect in a mountain town. But uh, it's a nice little town. 
try to get to talk to some people if I can, but I believe they think I'm an alien. I'm not sure. Give you guys just a little view behind me. I'm coming down the hill now that I was walking up before. So you can kind of see the uh, how small the town actually is. It's very, very small. I've, I think this is even smaller than Casabu. So apparently we are headed to a flower farm. I would assume that's the place that farms flowers, but that's just me. I don't know. Check out the view behind me. Little rice field, little mountain, little mountain homes. I love the Philippines. We found the flower farm. The bad news is <laughs> they haven't bloomed. <laughs> so that was like a two hour scooter ride to come see some unbloomed flowers. Story of my life. <laughs>